Hi guys, it's me again. So uh, like I said in this video, I'll be showing how to use your Inkit on website. So uh, Inkit is um, kind of Inkit features are different on website and mobile app. So if you're wondering how to use your mobile app, uh, view my other video first. And uh, all right, so let's start with the basics. So uh, you are seeing my profile page right now. And um, let me start with the uh, background first. So you can update your background color picture from here. All right, so uh, the one you're seeing right now, I made it uh, using Canva. Uh, so from here, you can update the profile picture. And uh, this allow you to update the name. All right, so, okay. So if you go here, here you can update your display name. Um, your uh, profile URL you can update if you want to. Then here, uh, Facebook, Twitter, public email, your homepage, your website, or any other site that you want to serve as a homepage. Um, my country, and here is my short bio. Uh, there is a word limit for the short bio, so make sure your words are less than like um, 160 words or something. I think so. Yeah. So um, here, the delete button is here. So in case if you accidentally deleted your account, immediately write to support at inkit.com and they should be able to retrieve you, uh, retrieve your account. Uh, but you have to do it faster, don't delay it. All right, so uh, again, if you have a website or blog where you like to embed your Inkit profile, then click this link and um, copy it to your website or blog. So it will appear something like this. Okay, uh, now um, if you go to uh, my drafts and so stories. This is where you uh, create and post new stories. So, um, if you see here, I have. Um, you can either do this, or you can just create a new story here. Okay, and uh, first, I'm going to upload my cover. Um, the thing is, uh, when you're uploading a cover for Inkit, make sure you use a royalty-free cover. Uh, because using a copyrighted image from Pinterest or uh, the image that you have, that you find on Google can um, land you on copyright issues and you might uh, get a fine up to $500. Yeah, I've seen cases like that happen. So um, I use only royalty-free images for my covers and um, I usually get it from Pixabay, Wikipedia Commons, or free image sites, etc. Uh, if you want a list of royalty-free images sites, I have around 20 plus sites listed on my blog, so you can visit there, or you can also uh, see the same post on my uh, Wattpad account, uh, in my copyrights books, or on my book promos books. I have posted uh, in both on both places. All right. So um, if you don't already have a cover. You can um, just choose the image and you can change the other name and uh, title here. Um, you can choose the font from here and uh, um, the title. Um, you can change only the font, uh, other name, and add only the other name and title here. So if you already have a image with the title, other name, everything, you can hide the other name and hide the title here and you can just put that cover. So um, there is no uh, particular font size that's required for this. I usually uh, go to Canva and um, get my covers done in Wattpad uh, uh, template, and then I upload it here. So uh, so far, it works pretty good for me. All right, so um, Inkit has just uh, updated this option, allowing the others to upload their own covers after asking them for a long time. So make use of it and make sure you use only royalty free images and uh, Inkit's content team um, always keep a check on your story. So if you're not using a royalty free image, uh, they're going to change it for you. So if you see the Inkit content team has changed your cover, it could mean two things. Um, that you're either, you, you're either your cover is not royalty free or they changed your cover just to uh, give it a, you know, good look, a different one. So you can always change it back. And uh, uh, if you don't use a royalty-free image, make sure you purchase the uh, legit um, image from Shutterstock or somewhere. Yeah. So now uh, I've updated the cover. Now for editing the story title, I can edit it here. Dangerous love. Okay. Uh, save here now.
All right. Um, so it's here. Now, um, if you go to the settings, here you can choose if it's the original work or if it's a fan fiction. On the working status, you can choose complete work in process or just an excerpt in case if it's a published book. From the primary genre, it shows um, what kind of book it is. So I'm choosing thriller, or romantic, romance, and should I choose action, uh, erotica? Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll just put drama. Yeah. So is this work a part of a series? Um, I'm not sure as of now, so I'm just putting it as no. We can always come back to edit. So here a teaser. It's just uh, in this teaser uh, you can just give two lines about uh, the story. And here uh, it'll allow you to add a blurb, max um, 1200 characters. So here age limitation. So kids 13, 13 plus. This is teenager 16 plus. So when you uh, write a teenage story, it can have uh, depictions of sex but not the detailed descriptions of the act itself but in adults you are free to do whatever you want so um, here you can choose like violence and gore uh, in, in case of like if it's a mystery or if there is a murder a lot of violence or if it's a paranormal romance something like that sexual references explicit sex depictions of abuse all right so you can choose uh, which um, content or which age limitation your story falls into and it's important that you choose this age rating as well because if you put everyone uh, even if your story is 18 plus the chances are there that the 13 year old kids can access your story so make sure you market young adult mature or everyone so young adult is for teenagers who are less than 17 years old and uh, they can talk about sex they can have it but there should not be any detailed descriptions about that on your story so that's an adult mature can have anything you want and everyone uh, should keep it pg-13 clean all right so once done you go to next step here is where you add tags for your story it's pretty much like what pad just add whatever uh, relevant tags that you have for the story and here if you go to um, contest uh this you can uh, click only once uh, after you publish your story so there will be a just a drop down from where you can uh, choose the novel contest all right i'm going to open a published story from where i can show you uh, so if you go to the contest tab there are uh, in the drop down there are two options so you can choose the novel contest option to enter your story into the um, contest okay okay um, now I'm going to show you how to check the analytics of your uh, story so if you go here um, this is where um, it will show your uh, story analytics like the number of reads that you have received for the uh, that particular month and uh, in total all right so um, so this is the read so uh, it shows only um, five books at a time so if you want to see for other books you have to uncheck and uh, add the uh, other books here uh, like five more books here so if you see here you can see the uh, reading list for uh, reading numbers for the others as well so this is the analytics that uh, the algorithm that um, I think it used to calculate your bestseller potential so my green bars are filled for some, quite some time now so keep your fingers crossed Okay, um, now that being said, I'm going to my uh, profile and tell you like how it is. Mm. So this is how my profile appears for me. Um, if you see here, it says like how many stories I have. This is the list of reviews that I have left for other stories that I read on Inkit. And um, uh, this is my reading list. Um, and uh, this is for badges. So uh, Inkit has badges, um, uh, these are the Inkit badges, all right. So um, I'm not sure like um, how these badges are provided. So I think um, you get it when you participate on some contest or you achieve something, they just appear on your profile. But uh, I'm not sure like um, how it is uh, given. Um, but I've seen um, the badges on someone's profiles. 
So uh, I'm not sure if it allow me to click here. So I can show you. All right, so see this user has um, eight badges. Well, wow, that's pretty amazing. Okay, so um, now if you go back, um, all right, here, you can uh, see your reading progress. So it also allow you to set uh, your reading goal per week. All right, so you can just challenge yourself to read more. So that's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. So here, you can do like this. Sorry, I haven't read anything on uh, in May. So my thing is like zeros. So here, now, uh, before I forget. So uh, if you have a draft that you want to delete, all you have to do is just hover over the draft, uh, click delete button, and it's gone. That's it. All right. So uh, that's about the website. So if you have any other questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section, or you can also message me on my Facebook or Twitter. And uh, thanks for watching. All the best. Bye.